Hey, what's up guys? Baker Pace here, back for another episode of my Chow Garden Let's Play series. Last episode, we evolved Aaron and Armin, unlocking the Hero Garden and the Dark Garden. This episode, we're going to be hashing some brand new Chows to introduce into these brand new gardens. So, let's get right into it. So we're going to slide on over to the Chow Kindergarten over here to the Black Market, and we're going to purchase a brand new Chow Egg. I want to go for... An orange egg. While we're here, hey, look at that. We got some round fruit seeds. Perfect. And we'll buy a square fruit seed too. Why not? If you're wondering why I'm getting another square fruit seed, it's because I'd like to have a square fruit tree planted in the hero garden. Since that's where we're going to be spending a majority of our time anyways. Perfect, and we're gonna take this guy down to the neutral garden We're gonna put both of the eggs in the neutral garden. And we're gonna move Aaron and Armin up to the hero garden yeah. Hey, buddy, what's going on? You want to see the brand new garden? Oh, here you go. Yeah. Welcome home, buddy and bringing in the egg from the dark garden We're gonna pick up Aaron and uh, take him upstairs So we're gonna wait till we get some suggestions till we hatch the neutral two-ton chow egg so we're just gonna spend a little bit of time up here come on Aaron where are you gonna put that thing this will also give time for that orange uh, chow egg to hatch wherever it went <laughs> what's it doing over here in the water anytime I want a chow egg to hatch I'm gonna do it up here because it just feels special that way Aaron Aw, oh, you rebellious little bugger. Well, looks like we'll be planting these seeds after Aaron wakes up from his nap. I can't wait any longer. Now, I already have a name in mind. But depending on what kind of stats we get on this guy, it might change my mind. Aw, he looks so happy. Let's take them down to the doctor. Okay, let's check you out, buddy. Kind of just mediocre after filling out this chow's chart on the spreadsheet i think that we're going to make this guy a neutral run chow i think that i have the perfect name for you everybody meet tiger i think that tiger is going to become a mainstay a staple of the series welcome home tiger let's give you all these drives now let's remember, he's gonna be neutral. So we need to be very careful with how we treat his alignment. Monotone chows are a little difficult to tell what alignment they're following. So we're just gonna have to make sure to give even pets with each. Eat up, tiger. Oh, Aaron, what are you doing? Yeah, you're supposed to be asleep. Yeah, bro, I get it. I feel like that whenever I can't go back to sleep either. Let me leave and come back in. <laughs> so that way Aaron can go back to sleep. Aaron, I know you like swimming, buddy, but go to bed. Aaron, go to bed. Aaron, go to bed. Go to sleep. Okay, buddy. Let's get that stamina up. You have the best stamina out of all of our chows. All right, we're going to start off here simple. So as you guys can see, if I... Put the chow right up against the pillar like this. They get stuck unless they start frolicking towards you like this. Then they aren't stuck anymore. Well, this is what I get for being nice to these guys. I guess I need to start beating the shit out of them. I didn't actually mean to do that. Shit. <laughs> oh, I need to make it up to them now. Alright, now that my buddy is no longer worrying... Hopefully he won't frolic towards me again. Yeah, but you see, he's just going to be stuck turning around in circles in place. So that works out great for us. We're just going to be grinding up Armin a little bit, and we'll be back. Aww. Well, it's okay, Armin. I was going to stop at 15 anyways. You get you some good rest now. And looks like Aaron's awake. But let's see if we can't get him to plant these seeds now. This one's your favorite. Yeah! That's a great spot. It kind of balances the garden out by putting it over here. Now you got one more to plant, buddy. Yeah, water it. Water it. Yeah, there you go. 
Yeah, do your little grow tree dance. Let it grow, let it grow. We didn't see what Tiger's favorite fruit was. All right, let's get Tiger walking. If we get him to level five run and level 15 power, I'll be satisfied. Because I want Tiger to be our chow that wins at Block Canyon. I'd like to complete the, the beginner races today. Now it's time for his namesake. Perfect. And I think it goes without saying that with Tiger, we're going to keep all of these animal traits on him. Instead of wiping him clean like a, with like the other Chows with the skeleton dogs, I think it's fitting to have Tiger stick with the Tiger traits. Plus it kind of distracts from him being a monotone. Okay, Aaron, you're taking way too much time. Come over here, dude. You're going to try over here. Yeah! Let's go, Aaron. Let's go. Tiger, let's go see what your favorite fruit is because if it's like if it's square fruit or round fruit we've already got you covered his personality is curious that fits well with tigers and he likes round fruit so once we get that tree grown up we should be all good with you buddy and Aaron I want you to come with me I'm gonna show off something that I have yet to show off in the series so if you go over here to the classroom with a chow in your hand. You can check and see what lesson there is. So today, chows will be learning flute. So I want Aaron to learn how to play the flute. So we're just gonna hit leave chow. And we're gonna come back later and Aaron should learn a musical instrument. While we leave him in there, I'm gonna go and come back in with a dark character to even out Tiger's happiness. I never come in here with Eggman just cause he looks so strange. But I think that it'd be good for the for the video if I came in with a different guy. Look at how tall I am. Oh my god. I would be terrified if I were you, Tiger. <laughs> Look at my gimpy ass wrist. We're going to get Tiger up to level 5 stamina while we're at it. And I'm going to see you guys back at the Chow races. Oh. Tiger's, since his stamina stat's so good, I think he's getting extra points. Every time he takes a bite, he gets three. That's crazy. Dude, Tiger's stamina is going to be incredible. Let's go, Tiger. Okay, 126, 181. Holy crap, dude. Y'all stamina is terrible. All right, let's seal the deal on these beginner races. Come on, Tiger. Let's see what you got over here at Block Canyon. Look at how happy our tiger is. Aw, he looks so good. He's not doing as good as I would have thought, but with his good stamina, he should be able to easily win this one and level three. All right, final beginner race. Go get him, tiger. Give him a double stamina boost at the beginning. Hit him with a one, a two, and a three on the wall. And hit him with a fourth. Let's go! And that completes the final beginner race. Aw, Tiger's got a little toy car now. And we got ourselves another emblem. Now, as you guys can see, we have a lot of extra races that we can do now. Jewel race, challenge race, hero race, and dark race. So, in the hero race, dark chow are not allowed to join. With the dark race, hero chow are not allowed to join, but neutral chows can compete in both. Challenge races, you're typically faced up against some as it says, unique Chow rivals, and these are just a standard. So, I think we hop into a jewel race after we get Armin a couple of Skelly Dogs. Okay, Armin. Let's see how you fare in the jewel races. Aaron is actually our strongest, well-rounded, but I think that Armin, run-wise, could totally kick ass on the Peridot course. 
these are some strange looking chows. We got chows of all shapes and sizes. They all seem to be leaning more towards the neutral side, but they're all different kinds of run, swim, power. Look at him go. He's got the stomping animation. Armin's got it covered, dude. So as you can see, the beginning of this course is just mushroom forest. But the brilliant thing about the later chow races is they're able to mix and match the different beginner courses that we're used to, combining them with brand new portions of the courses that we haven't seen before. So that gives us longer, more interesting races. We'll give Armin a bit of a boost. I mean, he is stomping the competition right now. There's no doubt about that. He's already level 46 in running, which is halfway to the strongest that he could be. So it's no surprise that he's doing so good. It's in these races you got to be a bit more careful about spamming stamina because you need more stamina the longer the course goes on. As you can see, I almost ran out. Since we're so far ahead, I'm going to show you what it looks like when we run out of stamina. Your chow slows down immensely. So don't run out of stamina. You will almost guaranteed lose the race if you run out far from the line, the finish line. I want to put him in one more race. All right, we beat the jewel race. I want Armin to compete in the hero race against the baby devils. Oh, new track. Oh, I love these guys. Let's see, that's a flying, 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 flying. Run, wait, run, yeah. Maybe that's a swim. I don't know. That guy on the middle right almost looks like Aaron. This is just like a dark version of the jewel race. It stands that Armin is going to win this one pretty easily. I know I said last episode that the Chow races are not the best example of how good Sonic music is. But I think that this song kind of defies what I said. This is good game music. This is also proving to me that I need to increase Armin, Aaron, and Tiger's stamina way more than I would have thought. Because I thought that their stamina levels were pretty high, but this is showing me that they're actually kind of low. But Armin wins against the Baby Devils. Good job, buddy. Alright, I think that that's enough racing for today. And since Armin did so good, I'm going to bring him a fruit. There you go, buddy. Eat up. Good job, buddy. He did good. I want to check out the black market again. See if there's anything else new. I, w I know we only got the one emblem. But let's check it out. Oh! Oh, okay. So we have our first shiny egg. Which will cost every bit of rings that we have. But I can't say that I'm not tempted. I'm going to look at... Okay, I'm going to... Hang on, I'm going to look at some white two-tones. I'm going to look at white two-tone chows and see if this draws me in. Okay, from what I'm seeing, with white two-tones, unless they're neutral, you really can't even tell that they're white. I don't want to get a blue two-tone either, because we already have a spot reserved for a sky blue two-tone. We just got the orange. How do green two-tones look? I don't think that there's a single thing here that we could really uh, use. Let's check on Aaron. Oh, he's ready to be picked up. Awesome. Okay, Aaron learned the flute. I want Armin to learn singing. Here you go. There you go, Armin. Enjoy learning singing. Alrighty, well, I think that we're going to leave this episode off here. Next time on our Chow Garden Journey. We're going to introduce even more Chows to the Garden. We're going to level up Tiger's stats. We're going to level up Armin's stats. And we're going to get them to compete in the higher level Chow Karate and Chow races. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys in the next one.